Well, hey, my friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Huck, and today we're gonna just whip into Walmart here just before I, I gotta start work. Luckily, they open early. Uh, I'm gonna go check out the physical media section, which we know is just fading away over at Target. So let's get into Walmart, see if we can strike gold here. Oh yeah, here we go my friends. It is time for movie hunting again here at Walmart. So let's snoop around. <laughs> well, here's the uh, new display here with The Blind. Uh, got some AMC tickets there. What else we got down here? Uh, all right, as we punch in here, we see that uh, we had Elemental on 4K, but that's out. Uh, we do have the Blu-ray and the DVD. Two movie collection of Little Mermaid. Uh, I got the, they put have this conjuring just sort of stuck in between Little Mermaids. It's kind of hilarious. Plenty of a uh, Spider Verse, uh, Teenage Kraken. Oh, look at the Scooby Doo and Crypto too. Roll, oh, get it, buddy. Look at that, two dogs doing that thing. And here's the Loki series uh, on Steelbook. They got four of those here. It's pretty nice for forty bucks, though. Whew, it is a whole series, though. What else we got down here? Uh, and some of the usual Cobra Kai season five down there. That's red and some uh, flashes. Now look down this way, y'all. I like how they have these um, banners here to sort of, it's almost like uh, sectioning off your own home library, like TVs, new releases. But look at this TV section. I gotta point out this gargantuan Gunsmoke complete series box set. I never really watched Gunsmoke, but man, 200 bucks, you get that massive, massive set. The other good thing about TV series coming out on Blu-ray is, you know, because Blu-ray you can fit more on a disc. The, the boxes inherently are smaller. Um, you know, look at that. It's pretty ginormous. Like Night Court, they got this in these tubs. Just not a huge fan of these tubs. Yeah, just because they, they end up stacking a lot of discs on top of each other, so not a big fan of that. But, I mean, hey, it's convenient and it keeps the price down. It's not bad, 80 bucks for, what was it, seven or eight seasons? Actually, nine seasons. We still got this shredded open box of Dukes of Hazard. Been there a while, but the best is this huge Futurama box, which is nice, but the series is now continuing, so it's not really a complete box set or a complete series. Well, I'll check it down here. We got some little box set, little, it's a DVD box set, but you get Romancing the Stone and Jewel of the Nile all in the same set, so. That is really sweet, but you know, I'd much prefer it on Blu-ray. And I have Romancing the Stone on Blu-ray, just don't have Jewel of the Nile yet. Oh, and they still have some of those, uh, the retro covers floating around. There's the Smokey and the Bandit, y'all. Three movie collection. That's rad. So remember when we heard the whole thing that Disney was going to start putting, um, like all their movies in Walmart and it was going to be this like new thing. It was like a big deal. So I thought, okay, this is the time you'll, you'll start seeing some old titles like Splash or some of their Touchstone and you know, Buena Vista Pictures stuff here, but no, I think in the end it ended up just being this. The, the Disney display, which kind of leans on their animated series and a few other nuggets and that's it. And like, this is about the only out of the box thing is you got the little Don Knotts movie. See, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. You get the old Apple Dumpling Gang, uh, Hot Lead, Cold Feet, Gus. You know, so these are their old, you know, these are the kind of movies they used to make back in the day, but everything else is like animated movies or something based on some something else like Haunted Mansion or Flubber. I mean, that's that's another one. So it's probably like these two, but everything else is just kind of like Marvel or animation. So I, I don't see this changing. All right, let's squat down, y'all. <laughs> right down here, we have the Bruce Campbell series, Jack of All Trades. It was a one and done season, much like Briscoe County. And it's only 13 bucks on DVD for the whole thing. I do love me some Bruce Campbell, so that's mighty tempting. It's the only one here, too. Huh. If you're a big Monty Python fan, for 35 bucks, you get the entire Monty Python's Flying Circus of the complete series one through four, and it's fully restored. These are, you know, from the 60s, y'all, on the BBC. I mean, you know, I love Monty Python, y'all, but I don't know if I actually need to purchase the full series. <laughs> that said, and I'm contemplating getting Jack of All Trades with Bruce Campbell. You gotta have your priorities set, people. Yeah, look at this old funky thing. It's called Alienoid. Wildly entertaining. Ooh, and wildly loose inside the package. Whoa! But, uh, look at that old thing. Huh. 
God bless Walmart for giving us these weird titles, man. I love the uh, animated series here. We got the Justice League and Superman. I got Superman on Blu-ray for literally about that price. It was a, uh, an Amazon Prime Day deal. Uh, and someday I'm going to snag Justice League on Blu-ray as well. No, oh, check it. Here's a movie I enjoyed. Saw this on the airplane. It's the Guy Ritchie film Operation Fortune with Jason Statham. Uh, and this is on 4K, so uh, for 20 bucks, which means I think come Black Friday, which is just oh around the corner, y'all, um, that'll be even cheaper. So I do. I think I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for Black Friday and see what happens. At the very least, it's now down to 20 bucks, but at the very best, it gets down to about 10 bucks. Who's with me? And they still have a good you know selection of steel books here. You got the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, you got Insidious up here. Uh, and then down yonder, you got just some Maximum Overdrive. Terminator Genesis, blech. Dances with Wolves. Is that unwrapped? Oh, no. Okay, Dance with Wolves. Fast and Furious, Creed 2, Top Gun. Look at that. That's a nice cover. Uh, Raiders, loving that. Well, Aquaman, War of the Worlds, another really good. like that a lot. Too bad it's not the 4K one, though. Uh, Hunt for Red October, Adam's Family, and It. So yeah, not too shabby. However, I will say that this one is tempting just because I'm a big old Cruise fan, y'all, and I do love War of the Worlds. I got the 4K of this, but you know, I don't know, maybe I <laughs> I get this, take the stuff out of it, and put my 4K in here. Mm, nah, that seems like a waste of money for 17 bucks. Let me think about it. So like first out of the gate, I'm gonna show you the big gun uh, to support Disney Plus, getting their stuff out on physical media. I picked up Loki. Uh, it was my second favorite show. The last episode let me down, but everything else up to it I thought was pretty great. Um, and then, you know, again, to show Disney, we don't all want your animated movies. So I picked up the old Don Knotts movies, y'all. I remember going to the movies and watching the Apple Dumpling Gang, Hot Leg, Cold Feet, Gus, stuff like that. So this is sort of my voice to say, put Put more live action films out, man. You were known for that too, you know. Um, <clears throat> and then, uh, to add to my Smoking the Mana collection, like who wouldn't? Uh, I love these little retro covers, so grab that one. Uh, I already have the first one on 4K. That's the way to go. But I do like Smoking the Bandit 2. Uh, part 3, <laughs> look at that one. It's called Smokey is the Bandit. I don't remember that being all that great. I don't even remember it really, so I'll have to give that a, another watch and see if part three is all that good. But I, you know, I, in essence, I basically paid 10 bucks for part two and this nice slip cover. And finally, I did it, y'all. Bruce Campbell cannot stay out of my collection. I snagged the last copy of Jack of All Trades. It's only $12.96 or something like that. Um, I remember watching this on TV back in the day when Xena and Hercules and all that stuff was like the, the way to go in the 90s. You know, this was a lot of fun. So ended up with that. There you go, y'all. That is the run for today here at Walmart. Thanks for checking out this channel. If you're new here, please do me a favor. Hit like, subscribe. It means a lot. It is for the algorithms and for my channel and all that good stuff. And hit that notification bell so you get notified the next time I put up my next video. Like these great videos right here.